morning everybody so it's a uh, Thursday today I've always got to have a wee check because sometimes I'm not sure in fact I have to say most times I'm not sure but it is Thursday today and uh, just as I'm speaking the sun has come out so that's looking hopeful for today uh, I've got my cousin coming to stay on Monday so I think today is going to be Operation Big Clean Up in the Fleming household because um, we can't, uh, we've got to clear space for a start for her to be able to get in uh, so uh, that's what we'll be doing today, I think, Operation Big Clean Up. We have got one or two other things to do today. Uh, I'll try and pop up to Sheena, because I was said I would go yesterday, and then yesterday vanished, and I don't know what. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to do that today. But apart from that, I hope everybody's doing okay, and uh, keeping busy and out of trouble, unlike me. So we have been reading the story from Joshua, and uh, today we are at the end of that. Uh, and hopefully today and tomorrow we can finish chapter 24 and that will take us to the end of the week and the end of uh, Joshua and I think we've done really well to have uh, the stories retold again. So today's chapter is entitled Joshua Speaks to the People at Sheshem. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel together. He called the elders, the leaders, the judges and the officers of Israel and they came into the presence of God. Joshua said to all the people, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, has to say. Long ago, your ancestors lived on the other side of the Euphrates River and worshipped other gods. One of those ancestors was Terah, the father of Abraham and Nahor. Then I took Abraham, your ancestor, from the land across the Euphrates and led him through the whole land of Canaan. I gave him many descendants. I gave him Isaac, and to Isaac I gave Jacob and Esau. I gave Esau the hill country of Edom as his possession, but your ancestor Jacob and his children went down to Egypt. Later I sent Moses and Aaron, and I brought great trouble on Egypt, but I led you out. I brought your ancestors out of Egypt, and the Egyptians pursued them with chariots and cavalry. But when your ancestors got to the Red Sea, they cried out to me for help, and I put darkness between them and the Egyptians. I made the sea come rolling over the Egyptians and drown them. You know what I did to Egypt. You lived in the desert a long time. Then I brought you to the land of the Amorites, who lived on the east side of the Jordan. They fought you, but I gave you victory over them. You took their land, and I destroyed them as you advanced. Then the king of Moab fought against you. He sent word to Balaam and asked him to put a curse on you. But I would not listen to Balaam, so he blessed you, and in this way I rescued you from Balak. You crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho. The men of Jericho fought you, but I gave you victory over them all. As you advanced, I threw them into panic in order to drive out the two Amorite kings. Your swords and bows had nothing to do with it. I gave you a land that you had never worked and cities that you had not built. Now you are living there and eating grape from vines you did not plant and olives from trees that you did not plant. Now then, Joshua continued, honour the Lord and serve him sincerely and faithfully. Get rid of the gods which your ancestors used to worship in Mesopotamia and in Egypt and serve only the Lord. If you are not willing to serve him, decide today whom you will serve, the gods of your ancestors worshipped in Mesopotamia or the god of the Amorites in whose land you are now living. As for my family and me, we will serve the Lord. Amen. And God bless to us this reading from the beginning of Joshua chapter 24 and it will just nicely take us tomorrow to the end of Joshua chapter 24 and that will be the end of the book of Joshua and we will move on next week <coughs> Pro probably to Judges but we'll have a wee look over the weekend and see what we might read next. Uh, I think we must have covered a great amount of the Bible by now. Uh, bearing in mind that really March, April, April May, June, we've been doing this now for uh, a year and three months, so 15 months of reading from the Bible can't be bad for anybody. So, hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, not much else to report, really, till the end of the week. Uh, sun's just disappeared, unfortunately. 
but I'm hoping it will come out again as long as it doesn't rain. Have a good day, everybody, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye.